You don't need to know, I haven't done the washing up yet. Anyway, welcome back. Shit, I've got stuff in there. Guys, I've been living through my Pinterest board recently. Well, I guess not living through it because I'm not putting the same actions of what my Pinterest board looks like. But I did realize the other day at 2 a.m. that actually what I'm saving in my Pinterest boards isn't exactly unrealistic. I just need to not be lazy. That's the facts. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try and get our shit together, you know? Live and to create actions towards the reality that I wanna have, you know? And for me, nothing screams I have my shit together than the people that prep shit. The people that make things from scratch. Those people, in my eyes, I'm like, wow, you are amazing. I idolize you, I want to be you. Someone who doesn't do much and spends 90% of their life at home, alone. I realized I should probably romanticize the little things in life a little bit more. And I'm gonna be honest, I actually did start this video yesterday because I thought it would be an amazing idea to make sourdough for the first time without reading any instructions. Now, I obviously don't know what I'm doing, and to me, nothing is more overwhelming than instructions. So, this will be interesting. Step one, making a firm Levain. Forty-five grams of rice starter, 90 grams of water, 150 grams of strong white bread flour. Cover the bowl with cling film and leave in the fridge for 22 to 24 hours. But it's the next day and we're not making sourdough. I thought we could start at maybe more achievable, realistic level. And today we're gonna make pickled onions and hummus. I just lack a lot of patience and especially for something I'm doing for the first time, I need to kind of mentally prepare that it's gonna take a long time before I do it. Whereas I genuinely thought it was gonna be like a, a four hour job. But no, I didn't realize there were days, days going into making sourdough. One day I will be on that level where I am showing off my freshly baked sourdough every week, but we're not at that level yet. So uh, hummus and pickled onions it is. <laughs> Does anyone else treat TikTok like it's Google? If there's anything I want to know, I will literally treat it like my Google search engine. For the smoothest hummus, remove the chickpea skins. One, two. I think I'm halfway. at the final stretch guys look you guys are the one that told me i could literally do nothing and you would still watch my youtube videos so how about watching me peel a whole jar of chickpeas because if i'm honest this is as exciting as it's gonna get at times just letting you know what you're in for Last one. Hi, yeah, me again. Um, the next few clips are actually out of focus. They're out of focus and I got a new camera and I still don't know how to use it. So can we just ignore it for about a good minute or two? Um, I promise it gets better. No, because I'm pretty impressed with myself. I can't lie. That's up there one of the best hummuses I've ever tried. I'm not even gonna lie, prepping those two new things has given me a new lease of life. Like I literally feel like a newborn woman and that I have my shit together just because I made hummus and pickled onions. And to be honest, it didn't even take that long. I know I was a bit dramatic when I was de-skinning the chickpeas, but in total, it didn't take that long. Will I do this every week? I mean, knowing me, probably not, but would I love to do this every week? Yeah. To be honest guys, this video was supposed to be a Sunday reset kind of vlog, but the sourdough yesterday really uh, just put me in a bad mood and made me stop filming the whole video, which gave me the excuse to kind of let my pile of washing and everything I needed to sort out to double.
I should probably sort this out. Literally 5 p.m. I'm not even mad about it. You know, I worked hard today, you know, making my own hummus. So dealt with a pile of washing that had been piling up for about over a month. So I think I I think I deserve a reward, you know. Um, and I think it's important to reward yourself for the bare minimum, so uh, no judgement, alright guys? But I thought we could have a mukbang because I love watching these, even though I don't know if I like hearing people eat. And I don't know if you like hearing people eat. So maybe I'll mute it. We have got some edamame, sush, and some fish. I don't know how people film these because I am starving and to be honest I'm used to just watching my iPad while I eat. So this is a, a mental challenge, to be honest. I've had a few DMs of people asking me like how I'm comfortable with being alone. One thing I am passionate about is spending time by yourself. I am such an alone person. I'm personally someone who likes being alone. Like I recharge when I am by myself. But I guess my main advice for anyone who wants to get more comfortable in being alone, I would just say romanticize everything. That's what I do. I kind of fake it till you make it, do you know what I mean? I definitely think social media makes us feel like we have to do the most all the time. And if I'm being honest, I think I feel the pressure of that sometimes with creating content because I feel like I don't have an extraordinary or exciting life where I'm going to loads of places or I'm doing loads of things. Truth is, everyday life isn't exciting. Just romanticizing and living in the little shit. I feel like that is just such an underrated form of self-care. It's one of the reasons I got into and why I love cooking so much because it's a form of self-care. It's a way to look after yourself, to nourish yourself, to put time and effort into yourself. And I know for everyone it's not as easy as that because not everyone has the same 24 hours in a day or the same time. But it's those little things in everyday life that you can just romanticize. And I feel like that, that, is the key to being more comfortable with being alone. To be honest, I actually find it quite difficult to talk about more serious topics like self-development and things like that, mainly because I'm still trying to figure it out myself. I don't know what I'm doing and I don't want to give you the wrong advice. Don't listen to me, I'm not professional, sorry. But in a way, and correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like you guys think the same, which is comforting to me. I don't think you guys understand that as well. Like when you guys comment on any of my videos relating to anything that I've said, I feel so seen because I'm definitely someone who tries to keep myself to myself. I don't really express or open up unless someone asks or things like that. And that's more of a personal thing that I probably should work on, you know, opening up a little bit more. But, so when I see comments of someone feeling maybe a similar way that I have, I'm like, Fuck. I am not alone. I am not alone. And I thank you a lot for that to be honest, I do. To be honest, I've got to confess to you, I'm really struggling to eat this without my iPad in front of me. Like I need, I need some screen time right now, some healthy screen time. I'm probably gonna put on Love Island or something. I know I say this every video, but the fact that I'm not consistent and you guys give me this much love, like, thank you, thank you. And I am trying for you, I am. No, love you guys. And uh, I'll see you when I fucking see you. Fuck, that was scary. Does anyone get anxiety when their doorbell rings? Because uh, my heart rate is currently at 110 beats per minute. I don't know why, I always convince myself that I've done something wrong. Always.
Never mind, I just remembered uh, I uh, ordered some lunch. <laughs>